In this video, I'm going to show how to import Cocoa Frameworks into a project. When building apps with Elements, we have access to pretty much all the native third-party and open-source libraries out there for the platforms we work on. In .NET or Java for Android, using a library is as easy as referencing the right DLL or JAR file. Things are a bit more complicated with Cocoa. Because Objective-C-based frameworks do not contain metadata that describes their content, it is only source header files that need to be imported. Recent versions of Fire and Water make this as easy as adding a reference. Let's have a look. Here, I have an iOS project open in Fire. This one's written in Oxygen, but the same principles apply to any element's language. I want to work with Amazon's AWS APIs in this app to access files on S3, so I've downloaded their iOS SDK from the web. I have the frameworks in this folder here. Using these frameworks in Elements is a piece of cake. I take the framework here and drag it onto the References folder of my project, as I would do with any other reference. When I drop it in, you can see Fire did two things for me. First, it created this new import project for the AWS Core framework. Secondly, it added a project reference to that project in my main app. Let's go ahead and build the app. It'll take a while, but only once, because there's a lot to import. Once it's finished, we see the reference here loses its yellow warning icon, meaning it's now functional. I can go into the code here, and you can see the imported AWS APIs are now available. Now, for S3 access, we need a second framework, predictably called AWS S3. Let's drag this in, too. There's one additional step here. Because the S3 framework depends on the core framework, we need to drag a project reference between the two as well. Let's build again. And we're all good. S3, here we come. I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to go into the settings for import project and set the code gen option to oxygen and build again. What this does is lets the import generate a reference source file that shows the APIs that were imported. This file isn't actually used or compiled. It's just there as a convenient way to see the actual types inside the framework which can sometimes help diagnose problems. If we now select the reference to our framework, there's a new show source option that has become available. Click it, and I can see an overview of the imported APIs. This has been a look at importing frameworks. Stay tuned for more videos.